What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute. I haven't posted in forever. Sorry about that. We've been super swamped since race season has been done between like my stuff and Chris's stuff and like lack of content and just, it's exciting. We've got some exciting stuff going on. So first of all, this is a little out of my comfort zone. It's not what you guys are used to, but here's what's going on in my life instead of just racing in Chris's life. So basically I am a personal trainer, group fitness instructor. That's what I went to school for for about six years. So I decided why not follow my dreams and open up my own business instead of always following Chris's racing. So yeah. I teamed up with a girl uh, from my hometown who was like the fitness influence for around here. Anyways, things happened in her life and she didn't, not that she didn't want to do this anymore, but she, you know, she needed help and she didn't really want to take care of it and run this business. So I stepped in and said, hey, I want to do it. This is what I want to do. This is my life. Let's do it. So I opened up the athletic bar. Thank you, Kyle Alone, for the name. I have to give him all the credit because he's the one who came up with it. And yeah, so we were operating out of her garage and eventually you do have to move out of someone's garage. So we found a space. Um, this amazing unit is on Main Street. It's got some great visibility. It's right in front of a high school. It's well known in the community. It's actually apparently right beside this building, which is original from a world war at some point, I believe it was an armory. So kind of cool. And uh, yeah, it's across from the English high school, which is great. Um, but yeah, so we found this spot, which was perfect. It was nice, it was bright. There's huge windows. There's the interior siding, which is white. So it throws out a lot of light and the space was just open and uninterrupted. So we decided to go for it, bought some equipment, we bought from a company called Tonic Performance in Kirkland in Montreal. So we supported somewhat local and they were awesome to work with. They literally outfitted the gym for us and we didn't really have to do any of the work. So got all of that sorted out and then came time to bring everything in. Well, when I was sick, I felt so bad because everybody had to kind of take care of my business and I felt like I couldn't do anything. I couldn't help anyhow. I was just letting other people start my business or open my business for me. And anyways, that's not fair, but I'm so extremely, extremely, extremely grateful for both my parents, my sister, Chris, and some friends that have helped me along the way while I was in the hospital. But um, yeah, so they brought everything here. They brought everything in, everything set up. Oh, I also have to give a huge shout out to Mark Legault, our, one of our crew guys. Um, he actually helped Chris and my dad build the big rig. And yeah, so he doesn't just work on race cars, guys. He helps me too. <laughs> so yeah, we built this entire gym in a few days. Believe it or not, I had to open for like the 1st of January because hey, it's New Year's resolution season. Gyms need to open for January. So that was a big thing. It was a huge timeline. And we actually outfitted this gym in I believe like five days. So they laid out the floor, they put the, the turf down, they stretched it out. Uh, what else? They like put the entire rig up. They seriously got everything in here and organized and clean and ready to go. And I didn't like, we got, we got it done in like five days, which is absolutely insane. We are still missing a few things, but hey, it's open. So anyways, I will take you through my entire journey um, from, you, got, you're, you guys are gonna have some stuff from like the hospital, from the build, just like some time-lapse stuff. And you're also gonna get the first class that I officially taught in the new space, which is awesome. I tried to record the second class and for some reason, my iPad didn't start recording. And it was a chaotic class. It was, it would have been amazing for you guys to see exactly what the atmosphere looks like in here with a real true night class with all of my regular clients, some new clients. It was absolute chaos and it was so much fun. So yes, stay tuned and please 
Thank you for your support. Let's go now. Well guys, it is Christmas day. I got to spend the day out with my family, which was great. But now I'm back in my hospital bed. So I've been here for about 10 days now and great timing because I'm supposed to open up this gym on January 1st, but thank God my parents went and got the equipment. We're supposed to start setting that up. Well, they're supposed to start setting that up. I might just supervise, try and get some day passes again, but hopefully getting better. Not sure yet, but stay tuned, follow along for the ride because we're building a gym while I'm in the hospital. So it's bound to be interesting. So guess who's finally out of the hospital? Um, I was just discharged and now we are grabbing some lunch and then heading to the new space. So I will be able to give you guys a rundown of what it looks like before, where it is, and kind of what we plan on doing. So super happy to be out of the hospital and kind of be on the mend. It is December 30th. Um, I am now home, but I have to go into the hospital twice a day for um, infusions. So it's currently 5 a.m. and I have to do this every day. So update on the gym, the rig is up. So yeah, it looks awesome. I'm so excited. So we're just waiting for um, to stretch out the turf and then we'll keep going with the um, the mats, the rubber mats, sorry, 5 a.m. brain. So yeah, sorry, you can't really see me. There you go. So yeah, we're gonna stretch out the, the turf hopefully today and finish off the mats, but it's calling for some nasty weather today. So freezing rain and snow here. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I don't really wanna get anyone out there if it's dangerous, but yeah, on my way to the hospital. So check back in because I think we're gonna go to the gym today and kind of set some stuff up depending on how I feel and how tired I am by then so yeah <music> It is now one day from opening day. We open tomorrow and we just brought up, so that is the elliptical that we have to bring. It's a part. And then we have the rower that we are bringing to the gym 
we still have to, so we still have a lot of work to do today to open tomorrow, but we still have to um, organize the gym, like see where everything actually goes and is placed. And then we also have to clean. I have to get myself organized, like, like administration organized. And yeah, I should be there tomorrow after my, um, after my meds, maybe like seven to make sure everything's okay because then we have class at 8.30 and then yeah, hopefully we get a good turnout tomorrow. Lots of new people are interested and it's really exciting. So stay tuned to see the final result a little later today. Today is day one of the brand new gym. So I am going to take you around the gym, show you a little bit about what we do and the equipment we have in here. So when you enter the gym, we've got one big rig. So these rigs, as you see, there's little pins. Those can be used for a bunch of stuff. They can be used for squats. They can be used for like pulls. They can be used for everything. They are so versatile and they take up pretty much no room instead of having one like individual rack. And then we also have, so this is not completely finished because I do have to do some more stuff. So we've got stability balls, we've got barbells, we've got a hexagon bar. All of our plates are at each station. And then we have wall balls and medicine balls. Wall balls, super cool. You throw them up there at the target, which is awesome. We also have these rings, which are super, again, super versatile. You can pull on them, you can do chin-ups, you can do pull-ups, you can do uh, rows, a bunch of stuff. And we've got our amazing boxes. These boxes are great because you have different inches when you turn them around. So you've got 24 inches there, 30 inches if you flip it the other way. And then the blue side, which is in here in the middle, is 20 inches. Then we've got our bands. Again, these are great for assisted pull-ups or any kind of mobility work. We have some benches, some skipping ropes. These ropes are deadly. Everybody hates them, but I don't. We've got a bunch of kettlebells. We still have more coming. Some are on back order. That needs to be drilled into the floor so that all the bars can go straight up. We've got these bad boys, dips. My least favorite exercise in the world. We've got the sled or the prowler. We've got a few cardio machines, another bench, the battle ropes, which are great, and then all of the dumbbells. Then I get to write the workout on this whiteboard. I have my office in there, which is not done at all. We've got this nice big desk, which I am getting rid of because I don't need it. Then we have two washrooms, which again, they need updating, but they work for now. So yeah, we got three big windows. We are on Main Street, which is amazing because our view or like our, like we're, we're very easily accessible and very easily viewed. So yeah, this is, this is the gym. We put some turf in. Oh my God, I love my turf. It's amazing. So yeah, we have our first class today at 8.30 and I can't wait to see the turnout from today. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna get ready and I'll catch you guys up later.
like fake grass. I like turf. Turf is fluffy and it's fun and it's soft and you can take naps on it. But seriously, with the lack of strength I have, this is about where I laid and watched people work while we were setting up. And I was pointing fingers and telling people where I wanted stuff. So this was my typical view. This is how people saw me. So hopefully I can uh, get strong enough soon to actually be able to pick up barbells and dumbbells and demonstrate and get up off the floor without any assistance. All right, guys, day one is done. It was a huge success. We had lots of people come in, lots of different people show up. And yeah, I'm just really happy about how it's turning out so far. Um, thanks for watching the transformation, I guess. I mean, with being sick and stuff like that, I'm not quite sure how this video is gonna turn out, to be very honest. But um, yeah, thanks for tuning in and following along. And as usual, Please, I think I'm gonna start doing a little bit more of this stuff. Hopefully I can take you through my day to day and stuff like that and maybe Chris's at some point with the race car. But um, we have some super exciting news coming out eventually um, for the racing world. But in the meantime, you can hang out with me in my new gym as a new business owner. But yeah, as always, you know, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment whatever you feel like doing because I do like doing these for you guys and I really do appreciate everything and all the support you guys have given me so yeah welcome to 2020 and hopefully this year is as good as the last or better uh, 2019 was awesome and 2020 is turning out or starting to turn out to be you know a promising year so have a great day and can't wait to see you guys again